Hi YouTube, Mochismo Eugene, another video from Extra Strategy, welcome. Excuse me, I just have to have one bite of this thing. I hope everyone is doing great. Me, I have a broken foot in three places. This happened today. Been busy, busy, busy. A lot of work going on. Just moving too fast, I think. Anyway, the machine tipped over and I was on it. And extended my leg as it was falling near the pavement to try to actually exit away from danger. But in doing so, my foot got caught as it fell and it broke it it was an excruciating pain but I was able to manage to get up hobble over to my skidster and uh, get inside of the skidster in order to try to upright the excavator it was a mini excavator about one ton that's 2,000 pounds when it hit my foot I think about six or seven hundred pounds worth of force maybe hit my foot and I had my steel toe boots on normally I would have been wearing Crocs because they're comfortable and when I'm in a machine I'm, I'm not um, in jeopardy of any danger so I thought but being on this mini which is about 36 inches wide and uh, you can extend the tracks so the tracks were actually up under as my hand suggests and you can um, push a lever or, or grab and slide a lever move a lever over and the lever actually gives you the uh, capability to move the tracks out so I don't believe I had moved the tracks out that's all I probably would have had to do and it would have probably avoided this thing from tipping but in hindsight you could have should have would have done but I didn't and then so I broke it in three places and I had said that I hope I never got sick and had to go to this new hospital that they have here in uh, the city I live in but today was my first time and I have to say it was a it was a pretty decent experience I didn't detect an over amount of narcissists nurses nurses narcissists nurses, nurses, nurses or any other employees for that matter and it is a new hospital uh, I don't know I just seem to have gotten uh, I, I had a very strong uh, sense that the people there were um, not so much in their own element they were there to care for people in a very uh, practical and seemingly sincere way but in the hospital profession in the medical field you have to almost finagle some kind of persona because you have your own personal life to deal with and you have to go every day and deal with somebody else's stuff so I do empathize with that aspect of it but I won't take back the fact that narcissists are in the medical field like you wouldn't believe and, and, and such as they are in a lot of fields of um, or occupations of uh, customer service and uh, health care is no exception but I dote on them a lot and I give them a lot of grief but only the narcissist and I will continue to do that it's so richly deserved so I have a broken foot and I've been moving a mile a minute and I haven't been doing videos. I've been a lot, I've been, it's been a lot of times where I wanted to do videos and a lot of things are impressed upon me in my head and my heart to, to speak about, but I've never wanted it to be rushed. I want to be able to sit down and actually be attuned into to what I'm talking about. I don't want my videos to feel rushed. I want to be able to connect and talk directly to the person who is looking and listening to me. 
and I hope that's what you guys are getting from my videos. Uh, I'm a human being just like you are. I have a life. Uh, you didn't ask me to, to come on here, but I, I think I owe that to people who are subscribed to me and the people who are just generally showing up to listen. That's a spot on my phone. I thought it was on the shirt. Just distracting me, how it is. So uh, I just thought that uh, I would share that with you today. That, uh, I just broke my foot. Maybe I broke it around 12.30, 1 o'clock. And so that gives you an idea. And I'm actually resting it right now. Uh, elevating it, if you will. And I have this thing in here from when I got ran over by the car a year and a half ago. And it, it's a cooler, essentially. And you plug this adapter into it and it makes that noise and what it's doing it's administering water into the uh, compression pack which is an ice pack with a velcro over it so you can apply it to your knee your arm your neck or wherever your um, inflammation is and you can use just cold tap water or you can fill this cooler with with, well, actually, you don't fill the bladder, is what they call it. You fill the cooler. And uh, my bed's so messy. I'll try to show you. Oh, well. That's the cooler right there. So you fill that with tap water cold or even warm, I guess. Just not hot water because I think it'll ruin everything here. And so you do that, the cold ice water, and then it administers it through the, the bladder. And so you have instant cold pack. And it works pretty good. And that pump will go off in about 60 seconds and it'll kick on and off. And I guess that keeps the, the compression on the pack. It's kind of interesting. I don't know what they build me for with the insurance for this thing, but uh, it works. It's not the traditional ice pack for sure. And it's not as messy. You don't have to continue to worry about a wet ice pack on your foot or your arm or in your bed. It stays virtually pretty dry. So, I don't really even know what to talk about with regards to narcissists tonight. I guess I'm going to give them a night off because I'm just resting and recuperating. I'll tell you this though. Narcissists never fail to capitalize on someone who has uh, met some type of unfortunate fate, be it a physical, emotional, financial, whatever it is, they will capitalize on it. They want to come in and have dibs on your di duress, your distress, your depression, your oppression, and they will further, further institute more and more and more pain. They come along to just to see how bad you're doing because in seeing how bad you're doing, it elevates their vibration. They have to be around misery. And that's why I don't own the hospitals and uh, different things like that, you know, nursing homes and stuff like that. A lot of us are there to really, really help those or who are in need and thank God for those people. But uh, a vast amount of nurses and people in the healthcare field in general it's all a fashion statement. It's all about them. And so they complain about their occupation. But then at the same time, if you listen to a narcissist, they'll complain on one end. Oh, but I like my job. It's kind of like if you're listening to this narcissist, like make your mind up. You hate the place or you like the place. They are so hypocritical and so hypocritical and so conflicted within themselves. And this is just a simple way to realize that this person has a disorder, personality disorder. They cannot keep their train of conversation on one thing and one thing specific because it's either, it's, it's a love-hate thing with them. Everything they do is either they don't like it, but they like it. Either uh, the person's okay, but they ain't no good. And so what they do, they leverage this good and bad conversation with the person who's listening so thereby this person who is listening say you and me before we awaken we are in our self-conflicted we 
don't really know. This is before we were awakened. We were kind of like struggling to understand. Is this you're subconsciously thinking? Do they hate them or do they like them? Hmm. Does a person know they feel this way? And so that gives them a more of a leverage because they're actually looking for your response in that conversation that they're having with you about this thing or that person or this situation. They want to see how interested you are in that conversation as to what they're saying. They want to see how much you like that person, how much you're, you, you care about that person, how invested you are. A lot of times that's what they're doing too. They want to see how much you're going to give to them in, in, in the form of that conversation. So that gives them the intel that they was too proud for to ask you directly. They will just start this conversation. And it's sort of like fishing. They'll throw their reel of conversation out there. And they'll see what you're going to buy that. I don't know how I get, got to that point in this situation of the conversation. But this is a good uh, this is a good conversation about how they converse, how they will string you along and start a conversation. And at the end of the day, you said all the negative bad stuff that they are saying. And all you were doing was listening. And this is how they keep stirring the pot. They need drama. They need chaos. They need discord in order to function. And I share these type of things with my children in respect to friends in their young age. Young narcissists who are being groomed and recruited to take on the mantle of the older ones and the miserable ones and the malignant ones, they are yet carrying on that legacy. And this is how you become groomed in the matrix at a younger age in order for when you become on the older age, you're already conditioned to not to question things. But thank God I'm awake and you are awake and we are aware of the BS and we're not going to stand for it. And we're going to be called judgmental, hip uh, hypocritical, uh, pessimistic. We're going to be called uh, just critical. We're going to be called, you can call me whatever you want to call me. But one thing you can't deny, I'm hella woke. Just want to let you guys know, broke my foot in three places. That ain't a medication talking. I haven't taken any but one 800 milligram. They didn't shoot me up with some horse tranquilizers or anything like that. I just think I'm just happy and blessed and grateful the fact that this could have been much worse, guys. So, let me take a peek at it. Ain't nothing much to look at. Just wrapped up and everything. I can wiggle my toe. They thought that was a good sign. And I got to see an ortho. Ortho. I think it's an ortho doctor. Am I saying that right? Ortho. Like an <clears throat> orthopedic. A doctor for doctor. And I kind of seen him before when I had the car accident because they wanted to do a shoulder surgery and I told them, they told me to wait about six months and or whatever and think about it. And I opted not to do the shoulder surgery. I'm glad I didn't because it's actually, it works a lot better. Rotator cut was torn a little bit. So don't always opt for people to cut on you, especially if you just think you can rehabilitate it somewhat yourself. Always try for yourself first. Just like in life. Don't always just look for somebody to counsel you. Get these videos about narcissistic personality disorder because you may fall in the hands of a therapist that is a narcissist and that will further traumatize you and suspend your healing. So I'm going to uh, rest and relax and recuperate and I was thinking in the morning I'll just go over and supervise these guys as they continue to finish what I started because the customers don't wait for you to get better. They need stuff done, they want it done. And of course they empathize with the injury. And it's just something that happened. And, uh, I just told them I won't be doing anything strenuous, but everything will continue until it's done. So uh, have a good night, guys. And it's a blessing just to be able to be able to speak about this and uh, you know, be in good spirits. So until the next video, bless.